All right, Carlos Zvikane. Hey, thank you for joining us. Oh, what happened? Oh, get no, a little more juice. Train. Did it derail? No. It derailed. Oh, I did. There, oh. <laughs> oh no, we're having train <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> All right. Oh. There it goes. There's the train. No, oh, it derailed. <laughs> all right. We had this all set. It was hey, going to be so beautiful. <laughs> all right. Well, there you go. Well, we'll do it next time. Come back, Rosa. Let's say hello to everybody. Uh, hey, if you can tell by the Christmas tree in the back. It's, it's all. It's starting to look, look a lot, lot like Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> and so this is, uh, this is how we celebrate. we got the Christmas tree in the back. We've got a train around. And... Um, you know, before the end of the show, we will have a working train for you to see. But today, but today we've got a great show lined up for you. We've got Chef Marilena. She's in Cyprus, and she's going to uh, explain and, and show us how to cook a, a wonderful dish using a Cypriot cheese. So exciting. I am very excited about this. And we're also going to have uh, Alexia on, which is... Uh, uh, who's one of my favorite performers, and I can't wait to. I'm so I saw her at a jazz club in LA. I was so excited That's so a few cool. years ago. That was so neat. Hey, but for now, uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, we've got you on Facebook and YouTube, it looks like. And uh, why don't we get started? And uh, let's see, I guess I can go to the comments here for a second. A couple of comments. Uh, Daniel, Kalo Kalo, Daniel Crosby, thank you for joining us. My and Aunt Jolie. your Aunt Jolie joining us too. Thank you for joining us, everybody. And we're going to bring on now. Um, we're going to take the food camera. Oh, wait. Remove. Remove this. There we go. We have Chef Marilena. Thank you for joining us. Oh, she's muted. She's muted. She is. I'm sorry, Marilena. Let's start over. <laughs> Chef Marilena, thank you for joining us. I've unmuted you now. <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, inviting me to do a show on Cyprus and Cyprus cooking. Hello from Cyprus. Hello, everybody. Uh, hello. 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 Well, we just uh, love the opportunity to kind of be with you today and uh, uh, kind of get some great tips on, on cooking uh, Cypriot style. So, you know, you're... Um, you know, you're a chef, you're an author, you've done a lot. And I I kind of, before we get to the cooking part, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your journey in the culinary arts here and how, how you went, went from uh, studying economics at London School of Economics to, uh, to where you are today. Uh, okay, I've always loved to, to cook. And I have fond memories of cooking with my grandmother in uh, her home village, Vizogarpason, which is now occupied uh, in the occupied part of Cyprus. Um, so uh, I have been cooking since, since I was a, a kid, uh, and this is uh, not an exaggeration. Uh, I love Cyprus also, and I love all things that have to do with the tradition of, of Cyprus. And 18 years ago, 19, almost 19 years ago, uh, I felt a need, a need to, to learn as much as possible about my roots. So I started to do a journey following the aromas of Cyprus, aromas of food, aromas of, of nature in general. And um, I, I was, first I started um, uh, in libraries trying to find out as much as possible uh, about uh, what people were uh, cultivating in Cyprus, what they were eating, how they were cooking it uh, since ancient times. And then uh, I started an actual journey in, um, in the non-occupied parts of, of our island. Uh, so um, I used to get in my car and travel to villages, remote villages and known and, and, and lesser known. Uh, talking to all people that they were living there, inviting them to share uh, their memories of uh, what they, they, they remembered of their grandmothers or mothers cooking and what they were cooking themselves. And I noted everything down. 
So this, in this journey, I found many, many things uh, about uh, our culinary heritage here in Cyprus. I met beautiful people. Uh, I felt very proud of being a Cypriot. And then I thought, okay, um, these, all these are very interesting. I would like uh, people, the, the rest of the people in Cyprus, to know uh, all these beautiful things and love uh, Cyprus in the way that I love my, my island. And, and also, um, I have been trying to make this uh, culinary heritage, our culinary heritage, part of our everyday lives. And this is a challenge, a, a big challenge, to uh, to keep the, the Cyprus taste in our lives. But I I love it. Uh, oh. I have very good response uh, from everybody here, and also not not only from Cyprus, from people in Cyprus, but from people in other countries. I have been cooking in. Uh, um, in several countries in Europe, in Paris, uh, uh, for uh, cultural events organized at UNESCO um, by uh, uh, my dear friend Fadimi Panagi. Um, I have been cooking in London and Berlin, events co organized uh, by my uh, dear friend uh, Marianne Silent Treger, with whom I did a book. Cyprus a culinary journey in uh, three languages, wow. in German and Russian. Um, I, I was lucky to travel to, to, to the States, uh, Washington, New York, uh, getting, you know, in order to receive mm -hmm. an award for, for, for this book and also talk about Cyprus uh, food and to China uh, Yantai, to receive oh. uh, another award for my book, Cyprus Food Treasures. And in Greek, he's a big speaker of his cuisines. So um, I love Cyprus food, and I would love to present it to, to people all over the world and get and help them to get a taste of our island through our traditional food. Well, this is what we're looking forward to is yeah. that taste. And I, I want to talk a little bit more about that, but I want to bring up our, our mutual friend here. Uh, Alexia is, is on, and I want to just bring her up. and. Hi. Hi. Hi, Aurora. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rosa. Hi, Marilena. Hello. Oh, my gosh. It's so good to see you. Thank you for joining us today. It's a pleasure. We've been preparing with Valentina for half of the day to make sure the sound works. And I'm sure Marilena has been doing the same thing. I'm sure you have been doing the same. So, could you, could you, have, could you uh, come closer to the microphone? Oh. We really can't hear you. Is this better? Better. Oh my gosh, yes. This oh is God, much so better. Sorry. No, we could hear you, but just barely. But hey, thank you so much for joining us. We're talking to uh, Marilena about her 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 journey through through food. And uh, and so it's just kind of interesting because what what you bring up in in this journey and how how do you know you went off and you were we're talking to people in, in like the villages, older people, people that if it wasn't for you, maybe some of the dishes would have died out, mm -hmm. you know? And we do um, we do something similar here with the Greek Folk Dance Festival. We give, uh, we give scholarships to, uh, to young people to go to the villages in Greece and basically videotape and study dances of, 85 year old men and women and then bring those back. And then we, we present those dances here in competitions. And there's gotta be probably 20,000 people that show up at the Disneyland hotel once a year for these, for these shows. So, uh, but I, I would love to see something like that, but with food, even you better, know, even wouldn't that be, yes. wouldn't that be something? So, Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, do a, a culinary festival. Yeah. Oh my God! Wait, oh my you God. should do that. Yes. You guys, you guys should do that. That's right. Hey, before we go any further, we got um, Adam uh, Zagos is here, and uh, and uh, Asim Asimia uh, Galio Koda. Is trying. here. We're try I'm trying. I'm not very good at this, but 
but here I'm gonna put there some names go. up. If you, anybody wants to help me, feel free to help. <laughs> you may know some of these people, but um, I like to put the names up because that's um, very important. Yeah. Um, so uh, so you're tell me about the book uh, because you've written a couple of books, I think, right, Madalena? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll show you something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So um, this is the book, Cyprus and Culinary Journey, that I did with a team from Germany. Uh, oh. Mariana Salentin Traeger, uh, Franz Keller, Chef Franz Keller, um, uh, Astrid Ziegelmeier, she's an enologist, um, two uh, amazing photographers. Uh, Marcus Basler and Ania Jan. Rita Hens uh, wrote um, text. It's a travel cookbook. So Rita wrote text according to what um, I, I, the information that I shared with her, and also I traveled with her all around um, uh, Cyprus, and uh, we met people that were translating and so on. And um, uh, of course, uh, designer, the designer of the book, Oliver, Oliver he uh, shoots. So we worked for two full years. I think it was two, almost, almost two and a half full years uh, with them. They traveled to Cyprus several times. I traveled to Germany to cook there and, and take photos. And this book came out that received a number of international awards. And this is- Oh my goodness. Wow, wow. wow. that's it incredible. It was written in German and translated in English and, and then to, in Russian. So that, yeah. that's- yeah. Marilena, one. before you move on, may I say something? Can may I add something, like Marilena? Here, my, um, in this book, Marilena, also... just a second, Marilena. Me, me, yeah. stick me. Uh, Alexia wants to say something. Aristo, but Marilena, I'm sorry for interrupting. I just wanted to say that all these people were wonderful. They are wonderful. We love them. But I believe that it's based on your research. Because, I mean, the great photographs that you is the quality, the quality of you that led all these wonderful people and you know help them to create this yes. book. Okay, so yes, we, just a little we note. Together. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> and also my recipes are in here. <laughs> Very important. Okay. Um, and this is this is um, a Cyprus cookbook. Uh, written in Greek and English, Cisavridis Kipriadis Cuisinas, Cyprus Food Treasures, and it really contains um, recipes that I consider are they are a treasure of Cyprus. Uh, known and unknown recipes. 95% um, of the recipes are traditional recipes, but uh, they are uh, written in a way that anybody can uh, prepare them, cook them, bake them uh, today in in a modern kitchen, uh, so even the, the recipes for of ton, different kinds of of ton, which is um, roast meat roasted in in a, a wood fired oven, I give the um, the way a way to make them in our oven in um, modern electric uh, oven mm -hmm. um, that, uh, that we have today uh, nowadays in our house. Uh, and there are also uh, some recipes that uh, are not traditional, but they they use traditional uh, products. For example, our uh, ethnic cheese halloumi in uh, non-traditional ways, but still the taste uh, is, um, is is the taste of Cyprus. And have all recipes, uh, they they are accompanied. They they have a little a, a, either a small paragraph or um, a sentence that um, connects them to, the, to Cyprus in, um, in, uh, in a geographical, historical, uh, or um, uh, lografico, um, oh, uh, or in a, or maybe Balkan here, lografico, but in a non-folklore way. But, <laughs> oh, oh yes, yes. No, I know. In, in a non-traditional way. Yeah, in a, yeah. But because it's yeah. there's there, one one of the things I love is when you can take something that's very traditional and and change it up just a little bit, and it becomes something kind of unique and almost very personal to you. Yeah, but my my um, uh, my, my target always, even when I do this, 
is the, the taste the taste has to be um uh, sip, uh, uh, yeah. the taste of apples or of our cuisine uh it's not um uh i i, I mean if we if we make a recipe using a traditional product for example halloumi in a way that the, 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 the taste is completely changed and it reminds us of something else then uh it's not really yeah it's almost like it's almost like you're writing a song about cyprus right yes you know yes. it's like but whether it's whether you hear it but then you could smell it and taste it you know yes. so Ideally, we would be cooking your food and listening to your music. <laughs> Ideally. Then we'd get the whole experience. And if we can do that all in Cyprus, Terma, Papa Taloga. That little cretin there. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Um, oh my gosh! <laughs> I, I one of the things I love about about traveling in Greece, you can I, I attach myself to the most obscure things, whether it's food or phrases or you know, it's like a, and they just become embedded in my mind, and but. Hey, you know, why don't we start cooking a little bit? Oh, wait, you have one more book. I want to talk about the ne the other book, the one that we put up. Uh, this one. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yes. Yeah, because there, there's uh, – I'm sorry. I thought I uh, – I'm looking at you. You're really – you're on a big screen. But you're still so but tiny. But you're very <laughs> tiny. And I can't see everything. Yeah, well, I uh, – I have prepared my space here so that I can cook with you. Ah, great. Okay, so um, can, can you do me a favor? You know the mixing bowl that's mm -hmm. in the mixer? Could you bring that? Yeah. I think we're going to need that. I can't wait uh, to see. Uh, I can't wait to see. We are so cooking bowl. We're cooking now. <laughs> okay, so can we say a few words about what we're cooking? Can yes, about yes. This? Yes, please. And also a story about halloumi. <laughs> ah. So, halloumi. Uh, there, um, uh, uh, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> halloumi. halloumi is uh, Cyprus cheese. It's our ethnic cheese. And I would like to say a few words about the name Halloumi and where it comes from. Uh, George Lucas is um, a language scientist, and um, he he maintains, and this uh, this um, this is also um, confirmed, let's say, agreed by uh, other also other. Uh, food historians in Cyprus, for example, Thasso Sioani. So, Georgios Luca says that halloumi comes from the name originates from the Greek, ancient Greek word als. Als is the sea, is, um, uh, it, it also means salt in ancient uh. Greek. And this word als, uh, actually in, in ancient Greek, Carry an inflection in a lexida synomeny, opos lemes telinica. So as carry an inflection, this means that when they they pronounced has, uh, it, it was pronounced with an initial breathy sound has, making ekforamias achnas. So it was has. Halloumi is a cheese. Uh, that is, it's kept in brine. Brine is almi. Almi was actually pronounced as halmi. Oh. So that was a cheese that was kept in halmi, and that's how the name halloumi came about. I see. Wow, that's interesting. I would also like to say that the, the oldest reference, written reference of Halloumi 
um, was discovered by uh, a historian researcher, Mrs. Nasabat Abiu. Uh, she discovered uh, the, the oldest reference of Halumi in a Venetian document dated back in 15,054. That was a document by Leonardo Donà. Leonardo, the, he was a Venetian, Leonardo Donà was later to become the 90th Doge of Venice. Ah. Oh, wow. I find this so nice. I find it fascinating, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, this is wonderful. And, so, but you know, there, said, there's that one learning about our traditional food, my, uh, a lady in a, a village uh, named Stratos Agios Fotios, up in the mount in the Paphos Mountains, uh, Dimitra. Uh, Dimitra is now a dear friend. So Dimitra uh, told me about Galena. Galena is a milk bread uh, prepared in the villages of Paphos. Um, for Easter, uh, um, because all the other times uh, people were mainly fasting in Cyprus, so they would make they would prepare bread without milk uh, before Easter and for Easter they would prepare this milk bread called galena. Gal gala is milk in Greek, uh, and if they would add um, little pieces of cheese, not halloumi, the Paphos uh, cheese uh, in Galena, they would call it tiropoules, which is a cheese pie. But uh, they they could also add halloumi, and I uh, I created this recipe of Galena that we're cooking today based wow. on uh, how in Paphos they make the milk bread Galena. I added little pieces of halloumi in there. And um, I make it in a way that uh, it's a um, little bunch of, uh, of milk bread uh, joined together. It's like, a, it's like a sharing bread at the end. Like breaking uh -huh. bread. Uh, just to make it easier for, for people to, to have the, a nice uh, result at the end and also to enjoy it at the end. So a few words about what, what we're cooking today. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. I think it's important. I think these words are important because it's this, um, if, if we don't talk about them, they get forgotten. Yeah. You know, we need to talk about them. We need to write them down. Um, you know, it's, uh, we need, we need all of that. Um, so, and it, by the way, if you see somebody, you know, just shout out and, and let them, uh, let them know. And, it's hard uh, because I don't want to interrupt. Uh, I see people from Litochoro, Greece. Ah. Marlena, we used to go Marlena, <laughs> <Monoli -Bos. laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and, and Osan, no, but, people from Cyprus, everybody's writing to us now mm -hmm. and from all over the world. Yeah. Well, the, no, this is this is wonderful. Um, so we uh, do you want do you want to start with the recipe now? And yeah. I've got my mixing bowl from my yeah. Cuisinart I just purchased at Medelena's behest. She recommended it, so I bought a Cuisinart to do the mixing. I'm not going to do it by hand. I didn't even know this thing existed. It's amazing. Now I'm so happy. I'm mean, so happy. Yeah. Now we're I can't go that. back. No. What happened? The no. motor burned out. I wouldn't do that again. <laughs> I would wait till we got another one. That's what we do. Yep. My lady spoiled me. <laughs> wait till you get to Cyprus. Do not, yeah. eat, <laughs> do not eat for 15 days at least before prior arriving to Cyprus. Ah. Marilena, Marilena, I mean, cooks for us every day almost. And she, we have feasts and with stories and music. So. Uh. Uh, we 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 do that we we do that here except it doesn't taste as good or sound as good. <laughs> but we try. But we try. <laughs> Wait a minute though, because in your kitchen when we met with our, our Cretan friends, yes, Evie and Yanis and the Manolis, the was the, the the was it Lira? Oh yeah, uh, and um, um, the Lothar player. 
Mano? Mano. Mano, yeah, and Mano, Mano. is yeah, the Luther player, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Freddie and, and uh, Philip, when we played, I mean, Costa's Mass, we played amazing music and we I ate know. and we laughed. And we, uh, it was, you know, when you're far, when, like, you know, I'm a refugee and also, I'm also an immigrant. So to me, eating with people I love and being included is, I, I don't know what to say, um, it is very important. Well, we so love you very much. You know, we, we, everybody, everybody just still talks about you and raves about that evening. And, and I, I do too. I mean, I, you know, those, uh, uh, the videos of you, uh, like I said, I've mentioned this before, but I'll, I'll never forget how, you can be in the piano one moment in the living room. Well, that that piano yeah, right yeah. there, and, and <laughs> one moment, one moment you're doing jazz there. The next moment you're doing traditional Greek songs at the table, and then the next moment you're you're outside with the luto singing Cretan song. It, it just, I and this all happened in the course of three minutes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> But we'll, we'll do that. We'll do the same. Well, different in Marilena's home, beautiful, hospitable home, because there's also a great piano there. And uh, a lot of love. So we'll, this love is going to go all over the world. Okay. No, uh, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't either. Thank you. No, this is wonderful. Um, yeah, let's get started with the food, though. Um, okay. So we're, what do we do first? Uh, okay, first. Um, we have to melt the butter. Yes, and I've done that. I've melted the butter. I know. I try to do everything. I, you know, this is all in Greek, and I can't read Greek that well or that fast. So I put it up. If you want to. Αφροδίτη μου, σε ευχαριστούμε. Διαβάζω τι λες, αλλά δεν μπορώ να διακόπτω τους άλλους. Ας σου στο Facebook. Σιωπηλά, Αφροδίτη μου. Thank you. We need, we need, um, oh, there's Freddie. How about that? Hey, Freddie. Hey, Freddie. How are you? Why aren't you over here hanging out with us, man? We need your music, too. Yes. Marilena, this is Effie Di Stefano from Florida. Ah, yeah. Uh, that's uh, it. My god sister. You. Oh. oh, that's sweet. Miami. <laughs> Miami. Hello. <laughs> okay, so go. Um, next thing we do, we have to cut halloumi in small uh, cubes. Okay, here we go. This is, uh, the kids got me uh, for my birthday this really expensive knife. And and this thing that says Chef Haralambos, but I'm not a chef. But I wear it because chef I... Chef of this kitchen. You're the chef of this I'm a chef kitchen. of this general table. <laughs> yeah. uh, and well, in any case... Uh, I think that anybody that cooks and uh, for other people is a chef. Uh, <laughs> Just like when you see. Yes. We okay. so, yeah. have to first cut halloumi in slices. Are you just going to get... Oh my god, can you get chef hats? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> like a shadow. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Can you see them? Oh, the ones that want to show you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, do me a favor. Can you toss that on the please? Thank you. What have your finger? I got an Android job. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're going to cut it in small pieces, right? We're cutting one centimeter thick slices, and then... Hey, Google, convert one centimeter to inches. <laughs> okay. Um, Wait, that's small? That's less, pretty tiny. Less than okay, eight, yeah. less than a half. Less, less, than, less than, than the finger you cut off. Less, yes. Yeah. And, and then we cut each uh, slice yeah. in um, uh, one centimeter in strips. 2.7 centimeters. Okay. We'll figure it out. And next. Next thing, we cut these strips in one centimeter pieces. Okay. So here we go. I'm proud of you, Bob. I'm proud of you. Look at, okay, look at that. <laughs> oh, you know, wait, wait. We, we've got a better camera angle. There we go. Oh, oh. Ooh, there. Is it? Is that better? It's a little grainy. That's very grainy. I don't know. 
I'm a little disappointed in it. Bad camera. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so now we're going to cut them in, in slices. Let's see. Show me. Okay. All right. Gotcha. God, so you're doing this too fast for me. This, this type of pieces. You got to cube the cheese. Now I'm going to cube it. Okay. Yeah, I will cube, cube it. Okay. That's about right. Oh, here. Um, let's see. We're we're going behind. Elena, I don't know any person, but I heard so much about you from Andreas and Yanni Chari. Ah, uh, Andreas, uh, Andreas and Yanna uh, are my godparents. Ah. Oh, and they're living in Miami. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, here we go. They're in cubes. We are cubing these. Wow, so close. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I got to do this with my, always do this with your fingers when you're cutting. Don't do what I do, just do what I say. Do this. Yeah. <laughs> we learned this in episode, I think, three after I cut my finger. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, we're all cubed. Great. All right, now, got it. Uh, we have to put the flour, bread flour, in the mixer bowl. Yeah, it's in a bowl. It's in the bowl. You know, uh, we have, I already measured it. It's in a bowl. Right. We have the butter. Butter. Okay, so we thank you. So we take the flour and put it in. And there you go. That's already melted. Yeah, and we have the butter here. It's already been uh, heated. Put that yeah. in. Oh. Uh, it's solidified. It's solidified. Um, 15 seconds, I yeah. think. And All right. then in, in the same, in the same um, pan that we melted the butter, when we remove the butter, we just add the milk, we will not warm it up. We just let it get um, be, uh, become slightly warm because it's warm. Yeah. Okay. We we'll add some sugar, just one teaspoon. How and much wine do you drink when you're when when you do this recipe? Sorry? How much wine should we be? How much wine should we drink when we do the recipe? Uh, we drink, uh, well, about a glass of wine would be Not enough. Okay. And then we drink the rest of the bottle with the milk bread, with the galette. Okay. All right, good. There we go. So, and nice. we add the yeast. Oh, the yeast? Oh, I mean, All right. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, okay. And so we put the yeast in there too. Okay. And set it. Like, yeah, we put the sugar in there. I okay, think. she's getting a spoon. Okay, uh, now, now there is. It seems like a lot of sugar. I mean, it's just a spoon. Just a spoon of sugar. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. A spoon of sugar. Okay, and then we're gonna put the yeast in there too. And do we put two packets of yeast? Uh, you need about eleven grams. I don't remember how much. Uh, but um, she's gonna, uh, Rosa's gonna read it for me because she has. Okay, we have to put half of this one in if that whole one is so in. This is seven. Okay, so this is half of Seven each. So I'll do okay. half of this. Yeah, it's hard to open. The same. Unless. So. That's your Rosa, I guess. It's really easy to open here. Let me. Oh. Opa. Opa. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> That's there good. There you go. Yeah, a little more. Yeah. I'm going to do half of it. Okay. Next time we'll, we'll get a little trash can here. Yeah, that might be. <laughs> okay. Um, do we whisk? And then we... Oh, okay. Oh. Do we stir it? Don't stop. Mm. 
you because I don't know what how it sounds there. Maybe I'm. Very you know, it, you're not very loud at all, and we can barely hear you, to be honest. How, is it better now? Yeah, yeah. But you may just want to generally turn up the volume on the microphone. Okay, I'll tell Valentina to, to help us. But I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt your beautiful this process. So. Well, um, is it nice? Chef, is it okay with you, Chef? So, so Bob. No, no. I was just teasing. Is it okay if if uh, uh, Alexia plays some music while you're or we're prepping? That would be great. Yes, I would love that. Okay. Just as long as it doesn't bother you, your process, okay? No, 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 no. Let me know. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm just going to be playing here. I'm going to be cooking my, my court. <laughs> oh, you know, let me let me um, check the oven a second. I'll be right back. Wait, uh, Bob, Bob, Bob? Yeah. Are you are you baking now something in the oven? No, I just want to make sure it's it's going to be warm. But we will need we will have to let the bread proof first for about an hour. Yeah, but you know I wanted to show people the experience of putting something in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, how much time are we are we here together tonight, all of us? Hopefully five hours. No. <laughs> yes, let's do five hours again. I can't work, so <laughs> probably another thirty minutes or forty minutes. I know. <laughs> we need to be together. We will soon. No. But then I get ready. Yes. We're gonna go to it. Yes. <laughs> I <can't wait> to... <laughs> Aurora, we're gonna be together soon, and Rosa, yes. I'm sure. And we'll eat. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to ask a question, Aurora. Do you hear? Do you hear my um, Aquita Malena mm -hmm. Mo? Beautiful. Loudly or? Uh, it's good. It's perfect. Okay, thank you, Malena Mo. Nambula Liz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not clear. I'm not clear. Thank you. Thank you. It's not too loud, Bob, Aurora, Rosa, and Marilena, right? Marilena, hi! <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. It's I'm going to turn the sound back on for Marilena. I, I turned the sound off for everybody so we could hear your music. Oh, because I was just rehearsed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. 
It's a Greek song, um, of course, by one of my favorite composers who I worked with, Mimis Blessas, who's an angel. Marlena, we went to his house. We ate with his wife, Lukila. We love them. And it's one of the most famous Greek songs, a pure pop set of Engari. And uh, That's beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. What are we doing now? Are you cooking and I'm playing softly? So I... No, no, no. We're we're back up. We're everybody can hear everybody now. It's just that if you're if you're going to sing and play music, I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to mute uh, Marilena. That way, we're not. There's no echo back on your music. I propose to play while you cook. You still have a lot of work to do. I'm going to be playing just softly, and when the right time comes, let me know when I can just hum a little bit of a song. If you okay, can. let me know when. All right. Well, M Mary Lena, do you want us to do something else here? Should yes. Okay. So um, uh, let's mix the butter with the bread, just lightly, and then we'll add the yeast mixture. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, mix the the butter with the bread. Okay. With, with the flour, the butter with the flour. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. We already put the... And Salt, uh, um, uh, one small teaspoon or half a teaspoon of salt in the in the flour. Okay. Um, a dear lady, I call her Tia So um, she is uh, uh, from Rizogapa, so my grandmother's village. Uh, Which is occupied. So it's occupied. It's occupied mm -hmm. uh, by Turks, uh, Turkey now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, Thea Maritsu, um, yes. I have been making bread here, all types of bread, Christmas bread, mm -hmm. uh, and, um, uh, bitters, and she's saying always put add some salt in the flour because if you don't add salt, which is, okay, if you don't add salt, then bread is not sweet. <laughs> wow. Metaphorically, yeah, of course. Metaphorically, yes. So, okay. I think let's it's all nice. add it's down the yeast, the yeast mixture in okay. the flour. Okay. And we oh. use your nice mixer, Bob. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so now we put it in the mixer? Yes. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. <laughs> All right. Bob, okay, since so, we are, um, since do we I put the cheese Canada in? Too. I guess we don't put the cheese in yet, right? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. We mix it first. We mix it first for one, two minutes. And okay. then um, I will tell you what to do. Okay. Let me give it a. Let me go with you. Here, let's I use the I camera. Um, I'm going to take this off, take this on. Yeah. I love this error, right? It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what? <laughs> There we go. Oh, the, yeah, there he is. 
Oh, where is he? Okay, okay, okay.
μυρεύω τον ίδιο κόπτο, εντάξει. I was worried that you were waiting for me to cook, continue cooking, so I stopped. It was beautiful. was worried that I was keeping you guys. This is why I was like, you know. Oh, no, no. I, I we need, need it. Yeah, this is fantastic. Thank you. Did you already put these people up? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Okay. So this is what we're looking like. Oh, wait. I can, I can see. I, I, can, I could see yeah. also when you. Oh. 
Great. So you just take it now, cut in big pieces and put back okay. in the bowl, the mixer bowl. <laughs> Add the halloumi. Okay. So Add the I'm sorry, what did you put in? Oh. The halloumi cheese. So the halloumi. Take it up into big pieces, then we'll put the cheese in. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, some dry mint. Mint. I have it. Dry mint Great. in here too? So we put it back uh, for just a little more. So now we put the peas in after we. Okay. And we put it back in the mixer. Yes, just for it, it, it has for less than a minute, just for a oh. bit there. And then okay. we do the rest of the thing um, by hand. Okay. Well, there you go. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Just a little loud. A little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> oh, we should put the other camera on. Oh, yeah. Do we just press it? I'm just trying. Uh, and then we have to well, do this uh, one. Oh, do this one off. Oh, okay. All right. Which one? That one. This oh. one. There we go. Yay! We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> We're just the interns. Yeah. No, we don't. Um, I'm not typically there. <laughs> Okay, that's probably good, right? Okay. Sure. I think that's probably good. Like I look like I have like from far away. I look like I just have like a forehead, but it's this way. I guess it's legit. Just take it out. Are we bad at actually. <laughs> oh, it's like, it's on me. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so you gotta roll it into a log. Log. <laughs> I mean, that's a good way to describe it. It is. So the next step is to roll it out into like a Yeah, log. but you have to uh, just press it and roll it. We want the cheese cubes to uh, uh, go in the dough. Yuli. Hi, Yuli. Hi, Yuli. Okay. So we roll it out into a log. You have to roll it out into a log, log. and like press and roll. Okay, let me bring a towel. All right, so we're going to press this into like a log. Actually, okay, okay we, we roll it into a thick cord, but um, at the same time, squeezing in the, the halloumi cube, squeezing okay. the halloumi cubes in the dough. All right. So, um, 
Okay. Um, I just wanted to make sure we were getting uh, the Furno ready. Oh, ah, oh my God. <laughs> So you actually have a wood fired oven? Yes. Oh, hey, for you, Marilena, we go all out. Wow, wow. We're gonna make um, if we're gonna make uh, bread uh, and cheese from Cyprus, we're gonna go all out. We're not gonna oh, go halfway. Well, okay, it's dark here, uh, but I could prepare mine as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're, um, and later on, uh, we're going to make, um, I have uh, lamb in, uh, that were, that's outside in the outside oven, and uh, then we're going to make pizzas as well. Oh, uh, wow. Well, I wish so, I was there. Pizza, so, yeah. if you put an oven, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I built that myself. And I'm going to put up the video of how I built it. Really? Yeah, yeah. No. It's uh, well, they helped a lot. I painted it. She yeah. painted it. The Crete symbol that's up on top. I painted. She did that. It. Yeah, and uh, Aurora helped me lift the bricks. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Bravo, Aurora. <laughs> <sighs> So let me see. No, you don't. Um, Bob, just squeeze, squeeze in the halloumi cubes. Squeeze, oh. squeeze and roll. Squeeze oh, I and see. roll. Squeeze and roll. Okay, gotcha. Oh. I see. Hey, uh, George uh, Panayotu. Panayotu. Uh, Panayotu. Panayotu. Um, we are. Uh, the recipes posted on the Cooking with Greek People uh, Facebook page, so people can follow along. And, uh, but, uh, so later on, you can look at the recipe and, and follow. Okay. So let me look at your, let's see yours. yours oh, why is yours so much nicer? I don't understand. Let me see. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh. I need to, <laughs> um, I think I need to knead it a little bit. Okay, okay, do that. Do that. I think you need it a little bit. But you don't when I said press you you press in the dough, you don't press on the on the table, just press in the dough. I see, gotcha. Like yes, I'm squeezing it. Got it. Okay, I see. So I'm gonna squeeze this. And one. it would be easier if you cut it in two pieces and make two oh. cones like this. Okay. Whew. Okay, there we go. Rosa. Rosa has to go to work. I have to go to work. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye, Rosa. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Uh, um, let's see. Did we put anybody else up? Oh, here's uh, Rosa. She lives. Oh, wait. There's uh, people that live there. That's Freddie's mom, Freddie and Philip's mom. Mm. Okay. Oh, we can't hear her. Alexia, we can't hear you. We can't. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, she's cool with that. Okay. Okay. Ooh, look at that oven. She's good. Well, where's the fire? <laughs> Why is there no fire in the oven? Maybe it went out. John, why isn't there fire in the oven? See you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, Nick. Don't go anywhere. Where are you going? Hey. Did you try some of the calzone on the table? It's so good. No, I just cut, cut off a piece. There's uh, find a, a knife or some maybe. Yeah. Knife. yeah. How yeah. sweet. Yeah. Okay. okay, now well, I yes, think I got it. 
You I think I'm there. there. Bravo. There we go. Now I can do this one here. And uh, let's see, we got some more people coming up. Okay. Okay. Well, if if you want, you can just make um, you know, cut small pieces and roll it up, uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, put one next to the other on a pan, or mm -hmm. you can make a cord cutting pieces and put in one next to the other. Okay, it's looking. Right, it's getting, it's there. getting, there. getting it's there. It's looking. <laughs> Yeah, can you come come around that side, okay. so you can see what we're doing. Yeah. My neighbor just came, oh. so, and so he's visiting. Yeah. I'm excited, so I'm watching to see how. So sit sit over here. You can. We we need a. We need we need somebody to replace uh, Rosa. But not you. <laughs> <laughs> She's so much prettier than you are. Oh, one moment, you. Okay. I, so thin. I know. Why is her so thin and so pretty? And mine is horrible looking. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Just one moment. Okay. <laughs> so I will show you how to do uh, uh, how to to make the shape that I I I posted the photo. Which okay. Looks like um, a cypress embroidery pattern. <laughs> But you can do any other shape you like. You can cut it diagonally, or you can cut it vertically or horizontally. You have it's it's good if you cut it in pieces, any time, any shape of pieces. Okay. Uh, that you like. Okay, so now we we go into smaller pieces with it. Okay. 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 And then we cook them next to each other, right? Yeah. We, we okay. cook them. So they're like this one. Close, right? close, but not, uh, we leave some space. Mm. Yeah. Because they will, when they prove, uh -huh. they grow yeah. bigger. Okay. So, like, right now we're ready for this to rest for about 40 minutes, right? Uh, about an hour, I would say. About an hour. Okay. Minimum one hour. Gotcha. Okay, I'm going to go cover it then. I'd be back. Just going to cover it, and then we can talk. Mariana Macuisme. Mariana Macuisme. Ah, por la jarum, por el sí, por la jarum se fue el sí, pero dicen que es una especie de prama, de ti prama, te voy a dar un cambio de pan ahí. Thanks to you, thanks to you. Thanks to you, Mariana. Y me sirvió, me sirvió banda. Brune wants to join me. Hello, Brune. Okay, so this is ready. That looks Ooh. so good. <laughs> and Alexia will show you when Bob is back. Alexia will show you what uh, it will look like when it's cooked. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> okay. I will you, you let me know. Okay. Uh, no, he doesn't want to come in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Πε μου, α. Όχι, There should be two over there. Okay, okay. He's back. I'm oh, back. Let's see it. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop right there. We need to make that into its own shot. <laughs> nice. That, so that will be our <laughs> clickbait. Yes. That will get everybody and to come to the show. Right there. Alexia will show you now what, what the end result, when it's baked, what it looks like when it's baked. Okay. Let's take Ready? a look. Ready? Ready. Ready. Oh. Whoa, we have two clickbaits right there. That I love it. So good. I love that. That's it's awesome. Also, Alex will tell you what it tastes like. Yeah, what does it taste like? Take a bite. Okay. <laughs> then oh she won't be able to sing. <laughs> exactly. But oh, I love that. It smells divine oh like the cheese and the very scented dough and mint the, the scent of mint is also mm -hmm. divine and oh <laughs> I'm, here. I'm sorry mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing oh that looks oh yes so good. that is incredible well that's wonderful <laughs> this is really phenomenal. This is so. Uh... And it just looks pretty how yeah, it's presented it does. as it well. Does. Yeah. She all, Marlena would present. I have to say that if you want, okay, if you want to get that brioche like look, which is more shiny, mm -hmm. it's best if you, um, if you brush it with egg glaze before you put it in the mm -hmm. oven. Otherwise, it's going to look like, uh, you know, bread. Like the photo yeah. I sent to you, Bob. Uh, right, right. To get that brioche-like look, you just um, brush it with, uh, glaze it with it. Okay, no, we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely yeah. going to do that. Yeah, we're going to have a few people over. Well, I shouldn't say that on the internet. Nobody's coming over, it's just <laughs> us. Um, but uh, we're, uh, so I've made... Uh, the, the dough for yeah, the pizza I, I made the nice. dough for the pizza. I've got lamb in the oven, and um, it's my cheat day, obviously. Yes, it's <laughs> cheat day. and Nick, Nick is going to help us with the oven when we have neighbors that come over and help. That's amazing, um, because we're making pizza, so we need an Italian representative. Yes, here. yes, <laughs> lots of garlic, lots oh, of garlic. Yeah. <laughs> um, so hey, thank you very much, uh, Marilena. You know, I, I want to. I, I still want to. Uh, so, I know that your your book is available in Greece. Are there any and in Cyprus? Are there bookstores people should be aware of to pick up the book? Uh, well, in Greece, um, people can find the book Thesabritis Kypriakis Cuisinas at Ianos Bookshops. Okay. Yeah, no. um, Great, and yeah. um, and we've already. Uh, I know I had you put some things in Greek for us so about the book. Did you also put where they can find it, the bookshops? Or? I, I did. I did. You did. Good, good. So just uh, check the feed. I'm going to repost that feed as well later today. So if please go out and uh, buy uh, Chef Magdalena's uh, cookbook. She's a chef. She's an author. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. So And uh, the food's incredible. And I can't wait to... Uh, to taste? Try, yeah, yeah, I want to try this. Can't wait. Um, we'll do a little video. I know. Thank you. Now, um, do do you guys have to go, or can we talk a little bit, Alexia? I want to talk to you about uh, mm -hmm. some of the things that you're involved in. Of course. Uh, I mean, I'd love to stay. Is it Lena Muboris? Beveros, Beveros, Boros. Okay, good. So let's let's Beveros. talk a little bit um, about um, some. I mean, last time we talked, we talked about. Um, uh, about how you started uh, with Eurovision. Did you get, now Eurovision here was really unknown in the United States up until a Netflix show yeah. <laughs> came out, a comedy with Will Ferrell. <laughs> and I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I thought, you know what we should do is uh, we should do a, uh, a reaction video to them <laughs> singing and you can tell wow. us how closely it represents <laughs> your experience oh my god <laughs> okay so why don't, why don't we do why don't we do that i'll arrange it with uh, valentina and she can 
organize it, but we'll do a reaction video so we can see excerpts of Will Ferrell and his partner singing. And you can say, no, I didn't experience that. Or yes, this is really close. I've seen people act this way. And uh, okay, maybe so, we can get Will Ferrell. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed. Maybe we get him to come in. But I, okay, so we're gonna organize the reaction video, and um, but uh, but we talked a little bit about your experience there, and we kind of took you um, uh, through your experience through uh, Berkeley School of Music, mm -hmm. which I just think it's just phenomenal that that you came out of uh, that organization, and uh, which kind of explains how you can transition from musical style so easily and just so. It's kind of like the stream, you know, you kind of go from one to another. I know. Um, but what I wanted to talk to was more um, recent things. I know you were a displaced person uh, with the occupation of, uh, of a big chunk of Cyprus. And, uh, and what I want to do is uh, talk to you about um, some of the things that you're doing now to uh, with displaced people in the world and how you're working with, I think, uh, one of the departments of the United Nations to uh, to help them and, and through your music and all that. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about that? Thank you, Bob. Um, I, I, yeah. So I'm still in the recipe, Marilena's story. <laughs> but, yeah, to be honest, but I'll try to uh, just switch because I, I find it fascinating. Um, and I was very blessed that I, uh, being Marlena, friends with Marlena for the past 30 years, um, she would uh, tell me, Alexia, tomorrow, I'm gonna go to this village. Be ready, because she's an early riser. I'm not. Be ready <laughs> by 5.30 or by six o'clock, sharp, and we're gonna go to this village. So I will be ready. And um, and we'll go to, and I would document things with my, my my telephone, amazing stories, amazing people, amazing scents, and um, which uh, all these elements also, because we were born in this geographical place, my friends, um, this was one of the most conquered, has been one of the most conquered places in the whole world. Is that right, Marlena, isn't that right? That's right, unfortunately. Unfortunately, so which means that a lot of civilizations have passed by here and they have left us um, their music, the recipes. Um, so all this, um, even though jazz is one of my the great loves of my life, I grew up in, in having grown up in Cyprus, being born and grown up in Cyprus. Um, the sounds of our church were very you know, prevalent, uh, the Byzantine music was prevalent, traditional Cypriot music, music from Greece, mainland. And then of course, the, um, whenever we, I, I would sleep at my parents' friend's home here in Nicosia, the capital of Cyprus, we would hear the hoja from the minare, which means that the Turkish uh, imam, is, and, and those imamis, imam. Yeah. Imam, imam. to chant, who chanted from uh, the, Minarets. The, the, the minarets, exactly. So all these sounds um, really in, have informed my relationship, you know, to music, with music. That's why I cannot sing only one genre. It's like a mosaic. This mosaic of civilizations are also within me. Um, so yes, um, having you know, being a refugee myself and um, also an immigrant. I, as I said earlier, that's why I appreciated eating at your home and breaking bread with everybody from your family because we know how it is to need to be included, all of us, all of us. So that's what I do now. I work with vulnerable youth and with children, uh, not only asylum seekers and refugees, but uh, in general, um, youth. Um, I just want to be there for them. And uh, as a, the past four years, I've been collaborating with the United Nations High Commission for the Refugees. And um, I've been combining my, my music in live concerts, including asylum seekers, children, unaccompanied minors, and children from 
the Cypriot Society. Mm -hmm. So this um, past June, we had an online concert due to the pandemic, which is still on, on my Facebook uh, page, Alexia Vasiliou. Uh, two years ago, we had a, by the all part of, of Nicosia, we had a live concert, it was before pre-COVID, and then this past June, June 20th, an online concert. And now on uh, December 15th, we have a second online concert with the UNHCR and the UN main office, and also with the Ministry of Interior, with the youth national youth organization and uh, also with the uh, minister of foreign affairs so we're all working together just to um to create this concert for hum international human rights day which is really my down my alley this is how i want to use my voice uh, as i said it's wonderful to sing romantic songs and um uh, songs about love, mainly about lost love, let's face it. Most <laughs> songs pre prefer reference lost love. Now, um, I, I may like a song very much with this content, but um, I, I'd rather, much rather sing songs that inspire us, people, not to focus on what we don't have, but what, what we do have, which is ourselves, our love, our intellect, um, the power to choose to do good, hopefully. So this is what I, you know, this is why I'm very, I'm really excited and happy, profoundly happy to be preparing for this concert on December 15th. I'm very happy, uh, Bob. And I will send you all the links so you yes, can hear with us on the day. A mm -hmm. lot of activists from, from Cyprus, from the region, from Cyprus, from Israel, um, and Palestine, um, and also from New York, from LA, from France, a lot of people uh, will be speaking, will, will be giving their message, the video message, and also sing for us and with us. So I'm very, very happy for that. And um, yeah, so just to remind, reminder of what really our human rights are. And let me tell you, Bob, uh, Aurora, neighbor, of Bob and Marilena Mo. Uh, reading, again, being reminded of the human rights, very few, believe me, are the ones that I see, that I, I say, they're being um, implemented. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, we need, still need reminders. And it was, they were written um, in 1948, and still we have a long way to go. So every voice is important for me, every voice. We need to be there for each other, empower each other, um, enjoy in, in a celebration, though, in a celebratory mood, not in a mm -hmm. sad and you know, and um, uh, just in a in a in an uplifting way. So this is my news. <laughs> oh, that's, that's beautiful. Amazing. That's beautiful. Thank well, thank you. You know, we need. You know, the world needs people like you who really take an, an active role, especially. With you children. know, yeah, with children, but you know, people who who are high high profile people that can, um, you know, bring use yeah, use well, not only your voice in terms of singing voice, but, but like, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, your, your voice, your right, your platform, your voice your to platform. to create because, to create awareness. Because as we, as, as we mentioned, Aurora and Bob in our previous um, meeting, you know, in the, in the Greek festival, uh, we forget, Marilena, we forget how powerful each of us is. We think our, our existence is meaningless. I mean, not all of us, but many of us. Mm. Well, I'm here to remind myself, first of all, and all of us that it's, it's far from meaningless. It's actually very meaningful. So when I see things that are unfair to my fellow human beings, I have to speak, not in a, in a way that I want to create conflict, but I feel it's my obligation, you know, because I want everyone to enjoy what we're enjoying now. Mm -hmm. Mary Lena's, my, my beautiful friend's home, her hospitality, the music, the laughter, the warm environment, the embrace, our friendship, Bob and Aurora. Uh, so I want this for everybody, just basic human rights. 
Yes. We have to have the Yeah. So, That's nothing anybody can argue about. Yeah. You know, we all des you know, everybody deserves them. You know, you know, everybody deserves to be able to feel secure. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, to feel like, hey, I, I know where my next meal is coming from. I yeah. know that I have a roof over my head and yeah. all of that. And we're we're so fortunate, you know, where we were born or the decisions our parents made. I mean, I can't you know, I was talking, my my older boy, Nicholas, went to the London School of Economics as well after USC. Same with Marilena. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was, he was there the same time with my son. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. Amazing. That's yeah. Amazing. yeah. And one but of the, I thought he But, when, we, you know, when, when we go back to visit my father's village and, you know, there wasn't running water, there wasn't uh, indoor plumbing, there wasn't any of that. And just in, you know, we, I immigrated here to the United States as well, but my family brought me and my sister who's sitting over there and brought us all over here. And just not even the course of, just in the course of one generation, you know, we go from, you know, living in a, in a stone home, uh, you know, where you're catching rabbits for food because the Nazis have taken everything from you to, to um, just within one generation, you know, we're here and, and you've seen my home, you've seen my neighborhood, you know, you see it's like first, very first world. And, and, you know, my sons now are growing up in this, but how quickly within a, a really a 50 year period, 60 year period, you know, things just change. And, but, that also goes to show you that things can change pretty quickly. You know, it's like you can make um, you can make a leap within twenty years, fifteen years. You know, it's where lives can change in in the next generation. And there's so um, I think it's it's wonderful what you're doing because you know the. Uh, you got to make people's lives better if you can. Mm -hmm. what do we, do? we, I think we all, we all of us on this screen have this as an aim. I, I mean, yeah. Well, sure. if you ever, you know, you were with me helping us do a fundraiser, fundraiser for the Greek Orthodox Church in our community, and it raised, I think, twenty nine thousand dollars. Wow! So <laughs> it, uh, I mean, it was a pretty good fundraiser for us, considering. We it was real. All we yeah. could do was put it in my backyard. Usually, we raise about one hundred and fifty thousand. You know, when you do the big festivals and all that. But considering it was a fundraiser out of my backyard, that was pretty good. So, if yeah. you if you ever See what want you to did? Pay, See what you know, you did? fundraiser, Bravo. You know, through PayPal or through whatever we were using PayPal, but whatever you want to use, mm -hmm. you know, we can we can put uh, the word out through the communities, the Greek communities, and yeah. we can. We can do something if. if and when I, when I used when I used first of all congratulations, uh, Bob, for this initiative for, for what you did for the Greek festival, <laughs> and that's that's quite a feat. And also congratulations for this initiative for this show. It, it brings people together in a more, the most beautiful of, of ways. Even me and Marlena, we haven't seen each other due to the pandemic in a while. And thanks to you, I, I drove to her house. <laughs> with my mask, I received my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, Galeno, Galena, Galeno, Galena, Galena, and, and, and uh, so it just it brings people together. That's all that we need to unite each other, Morning. joy. And um, I remember, as I said, when I used to live in LA, hopefully, we'll, after the pandemic, I, I, I will return. We will return. Um, the Greek community was so amazing. I have sisters, I mean, sisters of the soul. I mean, uh, I don't, I mean, LA is my, surely my other home, very important home. Um, well, we, we feel a lot of love for you here. I know I personally, yes, yes. Laura. Yes. and, uh, you. you know, we're, and, Yes, and, uh, and there's, um, 
And so we're, we can't wait to have you back with us and, and get to in, enjoy your company and yes. enjoy your music and, and all of that. Get to That'd hug be wonderful. you. Get to hug you. Oh, yes. yeah, I want to hug you too. Nice. I want to but, say something. Um, I'm what, sorry. Well, um, uh, just say, hey, you guys. Um, we, uh, uh, you know, we just can't wait for all of this to be over and then we can kind of go back to, Exactly. To doing yeah. the, being together and doing the things that we're we're used to doing, um, and now is there's uh, uh, you you have something coming up, and so we're going to post that on on the Cooking with Greek People uh, site as well. And are when when you put these up, are they fundraisers or, or are they just there to? No, they're there for people to, to enjoy. Not yet, okay. even though a lot of musicians are will, will be supported. I mean, a lot of artists music will be supported, technicians and sound engineers. Right, right. Yeah. But not, uh, not yet. We haven't uh, gone back or okay. done that uh, leap are, yet. Are you familiar with a restaurant called Schidea in Athens? Schidea, uh, the raft. Schidea. Schidea, the raft. I don't because I, I I don't go as often as I they used to. The, oh, Marilena knows because you go often to Athens, Marilena. Yeah. Uh, no, where where, where is it? it? It's the restaurant that provides services for homeless people in Athens. Oh, and so no. they have a magazine, but by the same name, it's a newspaper. That uh, so what they do is they engage they engage the the homeless uh, in Athens with. Uh, they train them how to work in the restaurant. And there's, I think, a three Michelin chef that yeah. does the menu. Mm -hmm. And so they were on our show. Amazing. A few, yeah, it's called Schiedea. I'll send you a link. Yeah, but, please. Yeah, but one of the things that I found interesting was there, there doesn't seem to be uh, a concept within Greece or Cyprus of using these platforms to raise money directly. Whereas, you know, with Skidea, I what I did was I, I donated through PayPal uh, through their website, but there wasn't there wasn't a way to kind of integrate within uh, Facebook. Like when people have birthdays here, they generally say, hey, if you want to do something for me on my birthday, donate to Children's mm -hmm. Hospital. And here's yeah. the link. And yeah. But I think what we what we need to do is is kind of bring that to because like your audience goes way beyond Cyprus and Greece, you know every you know it it's now uh, everybody is really multinational in their in their reach, True. and so oh, it, yeah I think uh, like that's one of the things I I want to do. But if you'd like me to participate in a fundraiser like that, I would love mm -hmm. to participate in a fundraiser with you. Whatever you need. Call me. We'll work it out. We'll do it. Um, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, if there's, you know, uh, yeah, if, you, if there's anything you need, of course, just call me. I know. Uh, thank you. I know. I know. I know. Um, there's uh, uh, We're but, family. I know that. And yeah. cross you and I for sure. So I can't wait for you to move back. I mean, uh, to move to move here. I can't wait. Um, I can't wait. Are we? Um, uh, is there any, you know, uh, anything else you'd like to t to to share with with us or? Um, no, I mean, there's a lot for sure, but yeah, but there's a lot. But I I wanted to have like this, you know, like I could have, you know, I'm I'm always interested in people's journeys. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we could spend a couple of hours just on your journey. And by the way, Mary Elena. I could spend a couple of hours on your journey as well. You know, to me, it is you, you guys live in the world where the heroic age started, you know, and, and you guys have these heroic journey, the, these arches to your lives that I could just sit with you and talk about and explore over and over again. But I, I don't want to, you know, I know it's getting late over there, but, um, we can the have world. another another get together, another dialogue, if you wish. Yeah, and you know, one of the things I'm I'm starting to do more is have, uh, so yeah, talking with talking with Greek people. Yes. Somebody somebody I said, love that. somebody posted. Oh, it's here. 
talking with Greek people, Fixed fix it, it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is what they said. Because do you want to see who we're going to have on next week? Yeah. Okay, let me, wait, you know, you're always, I'm glad I didn't tell you the, okay, so we're going to, this is who we're going to have, I know, so I'm going to have you pronounce it, because I'm horrible at everything. Aurora. There we go. So, so we have, uh, well, you can't see, but we have George Satidis on next week from The Bachelor, uh, The Bachelor Greece. And he's also, he's the host of the show, but he is also a, person, a red carpet interviewer yeah, for Antenna, interviewer. Uh, for Antenna TV and for Cosmote and, uh, and for Alpha TV. Now he's on Alpha TV. And so I'm going to talk to him about how he ended up in Los Angeles and how he ended up hosting uh, The Bachelor. So he's going to be on next week. And... Here's now you don't know who's going to be no, on the, week, the so week after, I so I'm not going to say. So you're, I'll tell you, the two of you should watch this channel. It is amazing. This is, oh geez, I got to get rid of me then. Let me get rid of me. Why did I know? Hi. How are you? Long time no see. On dos. On dos. What's new? What's new? Nobody's listening. You can tell me everything. Where are you, Bob? I don't know. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, there we are. Okay, so now we can talk about ancient Greece revisited. I guess I didn't realize that I can't talk to you and and see that at the same time. Oh boy, that's horrible. Um, okay, I'm going to start again with Ancient Greece Revisited. Ancient Greece Revisited is a um, is a YouTube channel where they explore um, explore Greece with kind of a fresh perspective. What is it that we really know about ancient Greece, and what is it that you know? It's like they explore such interesting topics like. They give a, a fresh perspective of Jason and the Argonauts and the hero's journey and how that happens. And the other one was, was you know, were, were Greeks colorblind because of the way that they refer to, to the uh, Aegean Sea? And, or, were they, or were they speaking more in, uh, in, in more poetic terms about it when they referred to I mean, it? Just, they... It, it, anyways, Ancient Greece Revisited, go visit visit it on YouTube. It's amazing. Um, and so those are the two things. So we're going to be doing something a little bit lighter next week. Yes. And then a little bit more philosophical the week after that. And then we'll see what comes oh, up the week yeah. after that. Philosophical can be light. Yes. And we'll <laughs> see. I hope so. But anyways. Sure. Hey, Thank you for joining us. This was such a great show. We appreciate you guys being here with us. And uh, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, uh, stay safe. God bless you. And we'll see you guys the next time. Yeah, yeah, next time. We'll there see you in Cyprus. Be. Okay, and in Cyprus. Well, yes. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you, you so know. much. Aurora neighbor, Bob, my little Oh, Bob. wait, wait. People want to say goodbye to you. Come here, Kelly, and say goodbye. <laughs> There's people who want to say, this, my sister wants to say bye. goodbye to you. Bye-bye. You got to go. Hi, Hi. How are you? Fine, fine, and you? I hope we meet again and, and, and you know, and sit on the couch and speak as we did the previous time. 
You got to duck a little bit, Kelly. What? Oh, what? I'm sorry. There you go. Ooh, Kelly. There you are. I yeah. Yeah. And I look forward to seeing you again, Kelly. I do too. I do too. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 All right, and to everybody out there on the internet, thank you again for joining us. Yeah, my lovely co-host, Aurora, and my lovely neighbor, neighbor, neighbor Nick. Nick. And we're uh, we're going to say goodbye to everybody, and thank you again. And one, two, three. Hello, Sasvrikana! <laughs>